to kick us off, we're going to start with a little quote from Ra. He says that we are filters of consciousness. So the consciousness ocean, the neutrino stream is what we're filtering. And we are complex filters, obviously, complex in the sense that we ourselves are a binary construct, but all we do is filter. It's what I mean when I say the passenger, your mind, the witness, has to stand back so that your conscious thinking mind can no longer make decisions. And this is what that mechanical strategy and authority, how important it is, what it will do, is get your frequency right so that you can truly be a truly conscious human being to get the frequency right. And where the frequency is gotten right is in your nodal environment, how your body is connecting up with your soul. Okay, so there was this, um, in some of the rave cosmology, Ra would talk about how the ancient Phoenicians, um, when he moved to the island of Ibiza, he heard about a culture that would actually have two burials for the two souls of each human. And it was interesting because this is, this is something that we speak of in human design, that we are a binary consciousness. The body has its crystal. The personality has its crystal, what you think of as your soul. And the two in juxtaposition in relationship with each other through the advent of the magnetic monopole, which sits here at gate two, whether you have a planet there or not, all of us have a magnetic monopole. It's holding us together, the design and the personality. And where it holds us together is a very, very special place we call link nodes. So we're going to address the unconscious nodes this time. And in a few weeks, we'll address the unconscious nodes. And in that juxtaposition or combination of the nodes, we find our storyline. So we're going to look at the unconscious storyline today. Okay, as far as the path that you're walking, where you are here to fulfill your life's work, it's an incarnative trajectory. All right, so it's, it's where and how you're here to see the road that you travel and the backdrop of your life, the environment where we be, as well as see, and our experience of that environment. So this is where you as a being are highly attuned to and sensitized to recognizing the nodes are a path. You walking that path, you come across these people who are either that or dealing with that, whatever that thematic happens to be. And this is where you as a being fulfill your life's work with those people, with that storyline. So it also shows our direction in life. From the past, the south nodes down here, we call them K2. K2 is a Vedic name that Ra would use. And then we have the north nodes, we call them Rahu. Rahu, I think of it as, you know, Ra Uruhu to help me remember which is which. And just that this, you know, this is on top. So they're space. They're a, a point in space, an imaginary point in space. There are the eclipse points where we find the stellar background frequency funneling through these two very important unconscious and conscious points in space. And it's designed to show us what we have come from and where we're going to as far as thematics. So it's really a kind of magic nodal trajectory is. And the work that we're doing is about pulling you deeper and deeper into recognizing, being aware of your own process, because this is where the magic happens. This is where everything happens. This is where you, as a being, get to live out the nuances of what are there and the beauty of what is there. And everybody has their own connection to their own path and their own trajectory. Now, some people, like myself, have these nodal activations undefined, all four of them. When that happens, it means that that being, especially as I'm a projector, that being has more of a tendency to go off track because there's not a congruency, a um, consistency to the path. Things get torn down, they have to be built up again. So this is where we find our spirit. Our spirit 
is the essence of our purpose in this life. Me as a projector, I'm here to have success, sweet success. So the spirit being broken because all of my nodes are in undefined centers is a regular occurrence of things falling apart and having to be re rebuilt back up again. Thank God I'm a three because I can pick up myself back up again, start all over, learn from that experience. So it's only when all four of them are undefined. And we'll go look at your charts and make sure that we know how it works in each of you. Now, when you're operating in alignment, strategy and authority consistently, over the seven years of deconditioning, what happens is there is a changing of your frequency, your body's expression of its aura, its vitality, its um, operation. And that monopole, remember magnetic monopole at gate two, it operates through the nodes. So this is what strategy and authority does for us. It begins the process of instead of being, you know, I'm bombarded by the not self purpose and trying to move in a specific direction because you think that's where you're supposed to go and completely ignoring what's going on on your body side. The integration of the being comes through operating in alignment with strategy and authority and that monopole slowly but surely holds you together to align your mind to your form. So that we have the perfection of what it is to be you. And the very work of how the monopole operates through the nodes, Ra would say, it holds us together in this illusion of separateness and moving us along our line of geometry. You'll hear him say it over and over and over again since 1992 when he first did his first lecture. So this is the great mystery and the greatest story there is. The most beautiful thing is that this is what we are really here to connect to, this path and the people that are on that path. This is how it works, okay? So your body shifts gears and changes frequency as you decondition and as you align to your path and purpose. So when we talk about these themes that we'll look at from each of your charts perspective, you're going to see that these are themes that we are all molded by. What that means is, is like, we're the product of our environment. Can you agree if you were born in an inner city, you know, compared to out in the remote woods, we're all products of our environment. Some of us more than others, depends on how much openness, what's going on in the design. So let's say we're driving down a road of our path in life and it's filled with beautiful trees and flowers. And then it changes and now we're in an environment of grassy hillside, wide open spaces. I'm a feeling cognition person, so I can literally feel in my body how different I am in this environment versus that environment. So you could call it like the weather or the seasons is a better word, seasons of our lives. The first half of the life is one kind of season and the second half of the life is a closing season. So it's related to our journey through the years. The first 40 years, approximately 38 to 44 of life is here, South Node. And then the second part of life is lived out here. It's the same road, just like those big roads in big cities where it's named one thing on one side and another thing on the other side, but it's the same road, okay? Sometimes your design might have defined first part of life, so more consistent. Or maybe it's the defined on the second part of life, and that place is more consistent. These are gates, traits inside of a function, a center. So you're going to find that that is the thematic for that aspect, part of your life. So when we look at the body graph, it shows us, again, themes we're going to be molded by and themes that we're attuned to, we could say, perking up our ears or sensitizing you know, all of our senses. It's just something that you're going to, you're designed to notice or be comfortable in. Remember, we're talking about environment here, especially. So the place where you're going to fulfill your life's work, let's say, if you were designed to be a leader in times of crisis, if you weren't out on the battlefield when people, I'll just use war as an example, because the general, yeah, gate seven, line five, 
if you weren't out on the batter, battlefield to lead your troops, you wouldn't be able to fulfill that aspect of your life. So it shows how important these things are and how precious and valuable it is to see that this is the movie that you're watching. Past environment and future environment, okay? Direction also on this side, the conscious side, which we'll go to in a few weeks, it will be about how you see, okay? The perspective you need to align to, to be motivated correctly to action, how you see. We'll have a whole nother class on that. Today, environment is where you be. The place that nurtures the correctness of one's fulfillment of purpose, what people are dealing with, where they're coming from, where they're moving to. It may even be their conscious or unconscious personality construct, conscious <laughs> sun and earth, or the unconscious sun and earth. When you have an exact match, remember from last week, you have somebody that you have, if they're in your life, you have a karmic connection to fulfill something with that person. Okay, so you'll notice that you might see more and more as you decondition and align to path and purpose, more of those people. I get a lot of those people with those incarnation crosses in my reading and um, student practice, clients and students. So again, halfway marker of life, midlife crisis is your Uranus opposition. I call it that. Rod didn't call it that, but it's generally what, what happens around there you know, midlife crisis. The crisis is because you're moving from one side of the movie, the south, into the north node, the second half of your life. Okay, remember, unconscious where you be, conscious how you see. When you see your nodes, the thematic of your nodes, you're in the right place. Now, if you're studying cycles analysis, which I know... Um, Claire, you're going too soon, and I'm not sure however many of you are interested in the life cycles, but the life cycles lay on another frequency, another fulfillment, another stage, if you will. Think of these as stages, okay? So the roads of directions, our path and our place, it shows us the stage upon which our life is set, okay? The stage where we look at a body graph and we see, ah, these are the people who are designed to populate your movie, as an example. Setting the stage, the nodes of the moon, they're the background. So more than that, they provide the scenery, they provide the forces at work that are gonna populate that stage and the background characteristics. So these are people, not always people, with their own in sun and earth. But if I, it's so interesting. Once I started looking at this, I couldn't unsee it. Um, it's also what they're dealing with in their life cycles. If you start to dig far enough, you can just see the entanglement of certain people crossing your path because they're designed to be there. Okay. So it's not just those nodes. It's also everything else that you are going through and they are going through. Now, there's some words on here. I'm leaving it as a subliminal thing. I'm going to read another little quote from Ra. And you finally get to see what your life is about. Not simply because it's something you can analyze, but it's something that you can actually live. So you can establish that foundation of outer authority. So you can express as outer authority the awareness that is possible for you. Ra calls outer authority true enlightenment. 